this will be the end result for the hand IK you see here the hand is moving with the is moving with the uh, weapon and it's not changing position also for the other weapon same hand is also fixed here now uh, let's begin with our video hello and welcome to another unreal engine 5 video in this video will continue our uh, third person shooter uh, tutorial and uh, now we will uh, make the uh, hand ik left hand ik to fix the left hand to the weapon now let's start first we need to go to our uh, weapon blueprint or to the uh, weapon mesh so let's go to the weapon data here uh, so we need the data table here we have the uh, AK we need to add a socket for the left hand location and it's here uh, on the root add socket let's call it left hand and I will name every uh, socket uh, for the left hand and all weapons the same and I will add uh, the the name of the socket in the structure for the weapon now let's change it to the right position and position the socket correctly I will put, I will put it here and then we will test later sometimes we need to change the rotation of the socket uh, to make it look realistic because the left hand will take the rotation of the, the socket now to the front we need to make it slightly to the right because the with the bone the left hand uh, bone is uh, let me show you here on the the character the left hand bone you see here left hand bone starts from here from the wrist so uh, if we uh, leave the location so if we leave it here we will have the wrist attached to the left hand socket so we make it select to the right and then we will adjust it later now let's uh, go and find our AR also the same add the socket I will paste the name left hand and let's switch the right view and change the position put it here or here then to the front put it slightly to the right now uh, like I said we need to add this into the data table let me add it here in the structure let's check let's call it left hand soft left hand IK socket change it make it name now let's go to the uh, data table and add it here paste our uh, the socket name now uh, we need to get the location uh, or the transform of this socket how do we get it first here in the animation blueprint here we need a reference for the uh, weapon let's get the player and equipped weapon get equipped weapon let's check if it is valid to avoid any errors 
then if it is valid we need to promote it to a variable and put it here we can put it before the valid check here if it is valid so here what we need is we need to get the mesh look for the weapon mesh get skeletal mesh and get socket transform Like I said, we need get uh, weapon data break and left hand socket on this and leave the transform space to RTS world. Here, let's promote this to a variable and call it left hand transform let's put it here now that we have we have the left hand position is stored in this variable so let's go to the uh, enemy graph and go to our uh, controller here let's open to the rig for me I will make a uh, new function let's call it left hand IK here what do we need first we need uh, to modify the transform uh, first we need the before the trans modifying the transform we need the variable the transform the left hand transform and here let's make a new variable let's call it left hand transform let's change it to transform and let's make it an instance editable so that we can uh, bring this value from uh, our animation blueprint here in the control rig we activate or take this left hand transform to make it available here the left hand we connect it to the left hand transform we go back to our rig first we get this transform and the most important thing is to is to use this node uh, it's called from world because to change the transform uh, coordinates from world uh, coordinates to the global for the control rig so we need modify modify transforms what we need is to modify the transform of the left hand uh, first not the left hand the left hand IK sorry hand and left IK put it here and make it global over right then after we modify the transform we need to bone IK for the hand or basic IK better with basic IK 
I will show you how to use basic IK and how to use the uh, vector bone sorry the, uh, from above here the item A will be the upper arm the item B will be the lower arm and the vector item will be the upper arm upper arm left and here lower arm left and here is hand left and the effector is the IK left hand let's get the hand here IK left hand get bone connect transform here to the effector and here for the primary axis let me open this primary and secondary the primary let me show you here uh, in the skeletal mesh let's find the left hand here the primary trans uh, axis is this one the x the x axis the red one and the secondary is the direction of the uh, pole vector which will be here corresponding to the elbow so it will be negative y so this is positive x and negative y the primary axis is the main axis of the bone that's which represents the forward and the secondary is the axis that points toward the pole vector which will put the pole vector here let's go back to our uh, control rig just make this minus one and the pole vector we need to Uh, let me make a pole vector for us here let's find the lower arm and make a new control and let's change its position sorry first of all or leave it in the same position uh, first I want to change the preview to a specific animation let's use the idle rifle animation and the rifle hit let me pause the animation now let me change the position of the pole vector I want it to be here slightly below sorry we need to I forgot to set the I will leave it here like this and here we need to set offset from current to keep this position and I left it attached to the left arm the left lower arm to make it change position uh, with the movement of the hand and uh, here pole vector space it's the lower arm control uh, now let's test for me I'll put it here before the hand uh, the, the, bo the uh, foot IK Now let's see. Let me eject and see. Well, we need to adjust the rotation. Now let me here go to the uh, to the weapon blueprint opens and uh, open data under the table here for the AK now let me minimize this and change it to the front 
Алексей. Птитер. To the right. Now I also need to change the rotation. Let me change it to global. Take it next. Light rotation. I think this is perfect. Now let's go back to our uh, left hand AK. And see how can we improve. Sorry, the pole vector here. Uh, we need the location of it. Also, we need to enable stretch. And let's see. Now uh, let's see the uh, two bone IK. This is the two bone IK. I think it is better than this basic IK. So uh, let's uh, find two bone IK. Here, like I said, the primary axis. It's already done for us. Primary uh, axis is the uh, one on the x and negative one for the secondary axis on the y axis. Now for the pole vector, we already have our pole vector here. The lower arm 
or let's call it uh, left and pull and here the same uh, we start from the from up to the to down here for the bones the upper arm left lower arm left and hand and for the end control it will be the left hand IK change it to bone and here left hand sorry hand left hand IK uh, enable stretch and that's it now let's replace this basic IK with the two bone IK and let's delete this we do not need them now let's see here we see it's better now the hand is moving accurately with the uh, with the weapon it's better than the basic IK I adjusted the location here behind the scenes so let's adjust the location for the uh, other weapon for the AR now let's see the position of the hand now it is messed up so let's let's go and find our uh, to to remind you I eject from the character by pressing the F8 and let's go to the weapon types let me close these not need, need them and let's go to the AR here let's find the left hand and make it global and let's first let's change the rotation of the left hand like this more and on the y axis more let me go here I think this is like this ok now let's adjust the position slightly up and slightly backward on it like this so I think we are finished uh, the video is becoming long and we are finished our uh, what we wanted just let's test again now if he is looking here or here now let's see now the hand is attached to the socket now to recap the most important thing that I used to uh, make mistakes in is here when you get the transform from the animation blueprint don't forget to use this node from world and change the coordinates from the world coordinates to the global of the control rig also the other thing that I used to uh, make mistakes in is the primary axis and secondary axis and let me also remind you again of the axis here let's take the left hand make it global now you see the primary axis is the axis that's going along the bone you see here the hand bone and the axis that's going along it which represents the forward sometimes of the bone here 
it is the x axis now this is the primary axis for the secondary is the uh, axis that points toward the pole vector the pole vector here this uh, control that we made which help change the direction of the elbow uh, joint so we put it always we put it here behind the elbow so it is uh, the represent uh, the negative y axis I hope it is clear that now also don't forget to start from above to below one a is the above from the above of the chain to the lower um, I think now we are finished and uh, the uh, we have uh, one thing we need to add we need to add a check to see if we are reloading or not because if we are reloading we do not know I want to uh, leave the IK uh, operation operating because it, we will not have the animation uh, the animation will not play correctly let me show you how what I what I mean so let's see let's say that we are reloading reload I fill it here and let's put it here now he is reloading let me show you you see let me make it looping to let's open it loop now you see here mm, sorry I want to loop here the animation blueprint loop animation here you see if we are playing the animation when we still have the IK working you see that the hand will stay attached to the IK uh, position so we need to add a check to find out if we are reloading or not so if we are reloading we will not uh, play the IK or we will disable the IK the hand IK and if we are not reloading we will uh, we'll use the IK so let's add this here in the player and we will utilize it later when we add the um, shooting and reloading reloading let's add is the reloading so let's go back to the animation blueprint here let's get the player get is reloading and promote to a variable and store it here when you set a variable it means that you are setting it and saving it you are saving it in this variable I'm saving this value so let's go to the control rig and add our is reloading is reloading sorry uh, I made a mistake okay and change it to a boolean and here in the uh, left hand IK let's add the, the branch uh, also we need uh, don't forget to make it uh, instance editable and here let's add the branch and 
here let's connect this through to our uh, code and the complete to the return to avoid this error that we have now sorry uh, let's connect the false if it is reloading we should not run the uh, IK and if it is not reloading should run the IK now now we are finished let me check now we are finished and uh, let's see our let me just check it while it is moving let's just rotate the uh, character 90 degrees see now the hand is moving with the weapon I think we are finished now it's enough uh, the video is becoming so long so if you like uh, my content please like and subscribe and uh, share my videos if you can and i'll see you on the next video thank you